Hey guys, I'm Devin DeLima. As the title of this video says, yes, I am here to talk about my overall experience with Invisalign, what my teeth look like now, as well as what am I doing after Invisalign. So before we get to what my teeth look like now, which you might be able to see a little bit of now, Let's show you where I started. This is from my very first consultation for Invisalign. It's from December 5th, 2015, so about a year and a half ago. My grill was kind of jacked, as you can see. Uh, these are my upper teeth. They're not terribly out of line. These are pretty far spaced apart. This one is actually pushed back. There's just a lot going on here. This tooth is just doing its own damn thing. If you guys really want to see these babies in action, feel free to go back to any other channel on my video before these dates. I, I had messed up teeth. I thought they made me look uneducated, to be honest, and I don't know where this concept came from for me. I think it's because the idea of beauty equals education for whatever reason in my society. So, now that you've seen that, See these? They're so good. I am so, so happy with how my teeth look. It's been a strange process, to be honest. You know, it's something that I know a lot of people go through, usually in like middle school, teenager years. Um, being an adult, getting your teeth straightened is very strange, and it's just, I don't know. It's weird. Every part of it was uncomfortable. I'll be honest with you. Every part of it was made me even more self-conscious about what was going on. I think some of you guys may have seen my biggest video that I actually have on this channel dealing with Invisalign is about the attachments. Those were the worst thing to go through, but I don't regret it at all. It's all over with now, and that's, I'm just, I can smile now. Like, did you guys just see that? I smiled with my teeth. I never would have done that before. A year and a half ago, I would have been like this. Or if you guys actually go back to some of my older videos, you'll see if I'm doing a video that I think is genuinely funny, um, I start laughing and then I cover my mouth when I laugh because I just didn't want people to see my teeth when I laughed. So essentially what happened for me was I think I had 30 trays in the beginning, my initial um, clean check. I did 30 trays, 26 in when I was going to go into my last four to just kind of keep everything retaining. Then they saw some refinements that they wanted to do. We did those and that was, I want to say 16 trays. And then from there, I still found some things that I wanted to do. That was hard and I still vocalized that to my orthodontist and thank God they were very receptive to that. I got eight more trays for my last set of refinement and then I just wore my last refinement trays until my Bavera retainers came in and now I'm wearing the retainers and it's just, I don't know, it's insane. I'm so happy that I put forth the money toward it, which I will say is a lot. I'm not gonna beat around the bush there. Paying for regular braces, any kind of like straightening of teeth, since it's a cosmetic thing, is gonna run you some money. I believe I have spent around $5,000 over a year and a half for this entire thing. If it didn't matter to me that much, I don't think I would have felt comfortable putting that much money toward it, but it really, really, really meant a lot to me and I'm glad that I did it. So as I mentioned before, there are Vivera retainers, uh, which is V-I-V-E-R-A, and essentially they are just like regular aligners. They're like regular trays. But as you can kind of hear in the case, they're a lot thicker. And obviously this is gonna be different for every person, I think, who depending on your orthodontist, what they recommend, what they have studied, and this could be different information three months from now. But they're telling me right now to wear my Bavera retainers full time for two months. Uh, so that means exactly like I would my old retainers, my old aligners, I should say. And from there, after two months, then I can go to wearing them at night. And I kind of did some research on this because I was like, what is the difference? Like, what does it matter? Because I think part of me was like, okay, if my teeth were to move during the day, if I put these in at night, is that just going to correct any movement that could have happened during the day? And I think that that is true. 
but then you're constantly moving the roots of your teeth and if you keep them in place for consistently one spot for like 22 hours a day over two months or over it could be for some people it depends on what your orthodontist recommends then your roots don't move anymore so your teeth aren't going to theoretically move back to where they're gonna go i know that there are people out there who have completed braces completed invisalign got their retainers and just said f this i'm not doing this and their teeth started to just go back to where they were was it worth it as i've said before yes do I think that it's better than braces? I can't speak to that because I've never had traditional braces. Would I recommend it to someone? If you can do it, yes. And this could be me speaking totally as someone who has obviously never had experience with traditional metal braces, but from my understanding, they kind of got it right the first time because you don't really have a choice for it to not be done right the first time and they don't necessarily do refinements or they do, a lot of people don't get them done, which could be a pro for Invisalign that you actually have that option. But yeah, Invisalign itself, it was an incredible experience. It was a terrible experience it's at some points, but it is something that I am just so happy that I did. And there are still some things that I, I wanna do and I want to change about a couple teeth and that's not even about movements. Um, I have two teeth right here. They're a little bit shorter than the rest of the teeth. I might get veneers on those teeth eventually. Um, that's another huge expense and it's something that doesn't even last permanently. It's something that I've really gone back and forth on and that's why I've said, you know what, I'll just get the Vivera retainers for now. If I want to do something else, I'll do it then. And you know, I'll get new retainers when that happens. It's amazing how much more confident I am. It's amazing how much more, like, it, it's sad to say this, but I'm happier. I'm much happier and much more self-confident. I feel more intelligent looking and it's, it's terrible. It makes me really realize how much stock I put in my own image and that's not great. So all that being said, I hope you guys like this video and my journey with Invisalign. I'll go back to the orthodontist in seven months. I don't know why, I guess to just make sure that like, nothing's royally messed up. I don't know. They just said, hey, we'll see you in seven months. I'm sure it's just to be like, hey, has anything moved? If it has, what do we need to do? Things like that. Um, but if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe. I put out new videos every single Saturday. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys next week in another brand new video. Later. Thank <laughs> you.